Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to talk to you guys about three-stage red. Now I've done videos about three-stage reds, but this one's going to be a little bit different because I want you to see something on this color. Now this color is a three-stage red and the base coat basically looks pink. Like rose pink. And let me show you what I mean. Now this is the base coat. I already started applying and I already blended it out. This is what the base coat looks like without the tinted red clear coat. And this is what the color has to look like afterwards. Now, let me pull the plastic up so you guys can see the color. So this is what the color is supposed to look like when it's all said and done. And I'm assuming some of you might see something like this and think, that can't be right. How is this gonna look like this? Well, that's how some three-stage reds are. For you can get this kind of color effect from a three-stage red. Some of them actually start off with a pink base coat. It's kind of crazy and to some people that are not used to seeing something like that, it might be scary and kind of shocking when you see that this is what the base coat is gonna look like. So I just wanna show you guys for you can see that it might look like this sometimes on three stage reds. Some colors come with a red base coat in three stage reds, some come with a pink base coat. And what you have to do is you have to check and see with your panel, if you have a spray panel, how many coats it's gonna take to cover this up properly. Now I already checked my spray panel, two coats of the red tinted clear coat is gonna be enough to cover this. I just gotta make sure I cover up my blend area very good and then I should be fine, and then I just clear coat the rest of it. So let me show you what I mean. So I blended the hood, basically from this area all the way up to here. I blended out my base coat, I softened up the blend nicely, now I just have to put some tinted red clear coat and cover this area, and then clear coat the rest of my hood. Same thing on this door, all I have to do is basically put my three stage tinted red clear coat over the pink base coat, blend it out a little bit, and then clear coat the rest of the door with regular clear coat. The only place I'm gonna be applying the tinted red clear coat is in the base coat area where the pink base coat is at or wherever, whatever base coat you're using, that's the area that needs to get covered when you're doing this kind of work. So I'm just gonna go basically up to the point where I blended my base coat with the tinted red clear, and then afterwards I'm gonna come with my regular clear coat cover the door and then cover over the tinted red clear coat. Same thing over here on this post and the same thing over here on the hood. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. And I also have a fender, but that's all gonna get covered completely, of course. So I already have my tinted red clear in my gun. I am ready to blend this out and blend this out. And I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing. I'm gonna start the booth up real quick. And I'm gonna try to talk to you guys with the booth front and explain to you how I'm gonna blend this out. It's not that hard and it should be okay if you just take these steps step by step. All right, I'm gonna go turn on the booth. Okay, so what I'm gonna be doing here is, like I said, I'm gonna go up to the point where I stop blending my base coat and cover that with my first coat. Then on the second coat, I'm gonna go a little bit further back, blending it out a little bit, and that's gonna be the last coat of the tinted red clear coat. I'm gonna do the same thing on the hood as I'm doing on the door.
my first coat was basically like right up to here. My second coat, all the way over here. That's not gonna change the color from here to there because all I'm gonna do is put regular clear coat on this area and then cover the whole door with regular clear coat with one coat. Same thing goes over here. And the same thing goes over here on the hood. You see, up, up to the point where I went to with my clear over here, I'm gonna go further out, like about right here, and bring the tin and red clear coat up to this point. And then clear coat with regular clear coat, the rest of the hood. Same thing goes on the bumper. I'm doing a blend on the bumper. I stop my tinder red clear coat here. I'm gonna put one more coat to the bottom, and then blend it out right here with a little bit of regular clear coat, and it's gonna be done. All right, I'll put my second coat on the hood, and my second coat on the fender. guys that's it for me for today if you like this video and this video was helpful please hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already hit the notification bell so that you could be notified every time i post a new video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace bye